Hey guys, it's Jay Conley. I want to talk about the pinch collar. I use it a lot in training. There, there's people out there that are that do not know how to use it, and you definitely want to know how to use the pinch collar. But it, if you, if you use it right, you'll bring that dog closer to you. It'll quit pulling on you, and um, it, it helps create structure. It, it teaches that dog what it's allowed to do and what it's not. And I'll just be straightforward with you guys. You know, this is, it's designed, you know, it's going to hurt the dog before it hurts you. Now, saying that, you're not going to injure the dog. You're just going to hurt it a little bit. It's going to teach it, no, I'm not going to pull. And um, it keeps you from, you know, back in the day, they used to use just straight old choker, flat collars and choke dogs. And, you know, you got to use this thing properly. So what I'm going to tell you say you got a dog it's leading out in front and pulling a little bit what you want to teach that dog as soon as it gets to the end of that leash you want to give it a little so it starts feeling pressure get a little pop and that dog is going to learn not to go to the end of that leash so like i said it starts getting to the end of the dog's going out and gets to the end of the leash feels that pressure a little pop I'm not pulling, I'm not dragging, I'm giving it a little pop. And I don't use the word no for, for other reasons, but I'll use the word at. So I, when I'm training a dog, at, a little pop. And before you know it, I'm shortening the leash. That dog starts feeling that pressure, you'll notice a smart dog they won't go to the end of the leash. They'll start sticking right by your side. So that's that's just kind of a starting point there. Um, what I want to talk about now is fitting it on a dog. Andy, when you, when you fit these on a dog, you don't want it real sloppy. You want it somewhat firm. And the reason is, you don't want just two prongs. When you go give it a pop, you don't want just two prongs. They will sink into your dog a little farther. Now, if they're all touching your dog's neck, they're all gonna have contact. And that's how it should fit. I mean, it shouldn't be digging in the dog whatsoever, but it shouldn't be sliding up and down the neck either. And these things, We'll pop these links, you can take them out, you can add. This is made by Springer. It's a good company out of Germany. Um, but you gotta use these properly. Don't let anybody tell you it's wrong. It's just like having their ears done. You know, I have that people all the time. Why do you have the dog's ears done? And I, I normally just tell them, ain't you ever seen the movies? You know, the bad of the bone dogs you know ears standing up that's what i want my dog to look like well what's the reason i want my dog to look bad to the bone that's the reason you know and i, I don't go into that stuff but um if it was up to me working dogs i'd cut their ears off level i mean flat cut them off a working dog because you know it's in the bob wire and metal and all that rust and uh glass and uh, their ears get tore up. So if it was up to me, I'd whack them all off. Any working dog, I'd cut their ears off. But uh, that's just me. But uh, guys, next video I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about pulling that, that heel in a little closer. Keep you from getting your arms and uh, shoulders jerked out of place. So uh, I thank you. Hit subscribe if you like it. Uh, if you don't like it, write a comment. Thanks.